As you guys are probably aware, we found out that the custom lobbies for Naruto Storm Connections has been in the game since release, and uh, I'm kind of late on this, I just came home from work, and as you can see, this is like a non-scripted video, but I thought I'm just gonna give you guys my take, my opinion. I've, a couple of you wanted me to talk about this topic, even when I was not even at home. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. For some of you who don't even know what's happening, it turns out that the custom lobbies like the invites, endless, tournament mode, league, these are all in the game. Uh, it's just that the functionality was not available. Like, we have seen Moiru Storm, I believe that's his name, uh, posting this, that there was some remnant files of the devs trying to make these because, like, this was not in the game. But um, turns out that not just the visuals, the actual functionality to turn it on has been in the game the whole time. What do I say about this? Um, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Um, I should be, but I'm not surprised. First and foremost, before I talk about anything, I've seen that a couple of people were bashing at the modders that like, dude, like the game came out like two months ago. Like there's no way that you have not seen. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. They are doing this for free. Okay. They did this for free. If it wasn't for them, I would still not know this. Did they make a fuck up? Yes. Are they obliged to provide us this? No. So shut the fuck up. We know this happened. It is what it is. So we found out about two months ago that this happened. And uh, yeah, this is basically the from what I could see from the video that uh, I believe Ace has posted. It, it seems like that this is the Demon Slayer group match uh, lobby invite-ish thingy. Uh, I, I also talked with the modders, not directly, I talked I talked with Pleco who was talking with them, but I didn't have time to talk with them specifically. But from what I heard, uh, it basically means that, like, yeah, that this is literally the same thing. So, it... So, okay, let's talk about the Endless. The Endless, which is group match, 2.0 from Demon Slayer is literally the same. You can type in the... If somebody is streaming it, you, you can type in the code and you can join. Cool. There's like eight people slot, but there's no spectator slot. Um, well, there kind of is because the spectator can join as a player. So it takes away the slot from the player. Whatever. So that's, that's that. League. It, it's in the game, okay? Nobody cares about League. Tournament mode is in there as well. So basically the same stuff that we had in Stormforge, just... Well, I'll let, I'll let you decide if this is better or not. This, to me, seems like a copy and paste, basically, from Demon Slayer. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine. I don't need, like, sprinkles of a cu on a cupcake to make it look real amazing. It kind of looks like that there's still room to grow uh, when it comes to visuals, but whatever. And I can sort of understand why Bandai or Sisuto did not make this available day one, but it's still unacceptable. It is still unacceptable because only the... So the Endless itself doesn't exactly work as it should. Turns out that it's a little bit laggy, it's janky, the, there's this whole emote button at like the top of the screen once again just like in Demon Slayer the spectator like there used to be a spectating thing in the middle of the screen which got patched out because Sisu to found out that they are stupid yeah they did the same but with the emote button so again we are walking back our step like we figured this out but they forgot so they're going from step zero again and they're probably gonna fix it later down the line or we're just gonna have a couple of modders remove that thing but whatever so yeah like it seems like it's not yet ready but the custom matchmaking is or as ready as it could be so like the custom matchmaking probably also has a couple of issues it seems like that it works like i can invite my friends um <clears throat> but man like storm in itself is let's be real it's not a perfect game look at the history mode look at the Special story. Look at just the ranks. Like, you, you can't even fucking leave out of a game. Like, <laughs> or the casual match. You can't even leave out of a game. Like, after all of these mistakes, if they were to add at least the 1v1 custom matchmaking, 
nobody would have complained. Okay, some would have complained because let's be real, we the Storm community complain a lot. But the complaint would have been like this is the where we are right now. The complaint would have been like here because we could have invited our friends, and and mine is also here my complaint because my only expectation from a new Storm game was that I want to invite my friends and I want to play with them. D nothing else. No um, bug fixes. No nothing. Let me play with my friends. And I'm never gonna be able to do this because you, Sisitor Bandai, whoever made this decision, has decided not to have this on release. So, of course, I can play with whoever. Like, I, I turn on my stream, I turn on something, I go up on my Discord, tag everyone, they're gonna be able to play with me. But there are a couple of people that I know in real life that I've known on my journey since I started doing YouTube. Like, for example, the Demon Slayer players, Arnavu, Jerry, Smoothie, they all bought the game. Uh, around like the first or second week, they were not a fan of Storm Connections, but they bought it because they wanted to play with each other. Guess what? They were playing on Parsec the whole fucking time. So yeah, they are not gonna play. They are not gonna play again. They, they even they told me that at this point, this is a joke. They are not gonna buy the re-download the game again. And why would they? I also have like Hungarian friends like from my country. They kind of still play, but by the time that we get this feature, I'm assuming the first season, please, the first season. By the time we get this feature, um, I'm not gonna be interested. Like, the, the trust that I had in Storm Connection, so like the Storm series at all, is gone. It's gone. I'm gonna be on Jesus Christ and Curse Clash, and you know what? The game might suck. It might suck dick, but it has no, I, it has no legacy to uphold. That game has no legacy to uphold. Storm Connections, as much issues is as much issues as Storm 4, Storm 3, Storm Revolution, Storm Generations, everything had, it was still a Naruto game which was fun. We loved playing it. I came home from school, I've I picked up my controller and I played online. But now I'm 27 years old. Like I I value my time way higher than I used to. But even if I was still a kid. I would not be as interested. And and here's the thing, here's the reason, like, also the community does not see the bigger picture of why this is a problem. A lot of people just bash on Sisuta and Bandai because it's cool. A lot of people don't see the bigger picture. Yes, inviting a spectator mode and all that stuff, endless tournament is good because we can do tournaments, uh, events, all that stuff. Fuck them. Ignore all of that. What about the people that we just want to play with, the friends? Like, community building. Like, as I said, the Demon Slayer gang, my Hungarian friends, I will probably be nev never be able to play with them. Like, yeah, maybe once. But at this point, Bandai or Sisu2 or whoever made the call, I don't care. Like, it's not, it's not my place to judge any of them of, of like, me, me making up, like, a conspiracy theory of like, yo, Bandai made CC2 not to enable this because they wanted to have the friend invites and all that stuff to be a $10 DLC pack for CC2. No, no, like, fuck, fuck it, not my, it's not my, not my place. It's a mistake. Just look at the Steam charts. I know that Storm is mostly being played on PlayStation, but that's just, that just reinforces my, my thought process. If a new entry of a series on PC gets less less people playing it than the previous one. But yeah, um, I lost my trust. I don't think I'll be able to play with my friends. Um, I haven't gone in depth about like this in like my previous videos. I don't wanna repeat myself too much. I probably ramble too much about this. I just decided to get the camera on and just talk about it because you guys asked me to rant about it. Like, you guys apparently like my rant videos and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't think I say anything special, but you like it. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna try it unscripted since I wanted to put this video out ASAP. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be it guys. Um, like, comment and subscribe, especially like, let's signal boost this video. Let's please the YouTube gods. Let's make them know that you guys like this. And yeah, and then, if you want to know more about uh, Storm Connections, if you want to 
see my latest rant about it, then I don't know, like somewhere I'm gonna put up the video, probably here or here. I don't know how I'm gonna mirror this. So just click one of the cards, it's probably gonna be one of them. But yeah, again guys, appreciate all of you being here. I hope to see you all next time. And uh, yeah, peace!